Konnichiwa YouTube! Welcome back to Arcage Live with your host Only One Shinobi. And we're out here in Mahadevi. It's nighttime, all the kitties are asleep, um, or right over there doing trade runs, which is smart. Uh, but today we've got something special planned. We're going to build our boat. Um, it's been a long time. I'm level 50 now, um, and I still have not built my harpoon clipper. So today we're going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is locate one of these. This is the, uh, what, the portal to Mirage Island, and we're going to go ahead and step through there. Now, uh, it's been a long time. I haven't built the clipper yet, mostly because uh, my partner has, and we've been using his. Um, but I've been saving my Gilda Stars for other things, like maybe Aqua Farm. But I already got one of those. I made a good deal and bought it for pretty cheap. So uh, we're going to go ahead and build our clipper today. All right, so we need to head into Mirage Island. Here we are. Uh, we're going to go over to the shipbuilding area. Um, over here, I think. Uh, right where the docks are, hopefully there's some on this side. If not, we'll have to go to the eastern or western side. But you should be able to find the plants here. I believe the harpoon clipper is 30, perhaps? Ouch. There's no ship over here. Only ocean houses. Okay. In that case, let's head over to the other side. You have to go to the western continent side to buy the ships. That's okay. Why they do that, I don't know. But let's head on over there. Um, yeah, the clipper is important, I think. Ships are important. Obviously, the galleon is bigger. This thing here is bigger. Um, it can carry a few trade packs and has cannons. Etc. Etc. But um, I don't have a hundred or so Gilda stars. I don't even know how many. 300, 500 to get a galleon. So we're just gonna get our clipper today, which will allow me to uh, move quickly through the water and make my own solo trade runs, or maybe with some guildies. So, right here we are, the boats. Right. So I mentioned the galleon. Uh, if you want a bigger boat, you can choose the. Western Galleon or the Eastern Galleon, which looks pretty badass if you ask me. And then there's a fishing boat, uh, which is good for fishing, obviously. We're going to go ahead and get the clipper. So Harpoon Clipper Design, okay, 50 stars. Bam, now we've got one of those, right? Let's check our inventory. Yes, Harpoon Clipper Design. And once you get your design, you can uh, head back to the real world and find a safe location to set up your dry dock. So let's do that. Okay, so here we are back at Mahadevi. Now, I like this area. Uh, I believe this is Queen's Grove or the herb farm up here um, on your teleport map, mostly because this is a safe zone. Uh, it's near the ocean, and there's also a crafting station right nearby. So there's a crafting station right there, um, and just down the hill here is the dock. So let's head on down and place our dry dock and we'll go ahead and get started. So, I recommend using a non-PVP zone. Uh, there are three trade packs that you have to take to build your ship, um, and if you are building in a PVP area, of course, people can kill you and take your ship. I mean, uh, take your packs, because that is what people do um, if they're evil. Uh, so we'll right-click our map, and then, whoa, zoom out apparently try to find a location to build the dock why am i zoomed out so far jesus uh and let's just go ahead and build here okay it also costs 10 gold to place the dry dock so that's a little sad all right so once you get your dry dock placed um you can start building uh, to place the dry dock, I should have mentioned, it takes 10 lumber and 10 iron, so make sure that you have a little bit of extra um, on you at this time. So, if you open up the build list, you'll see that you need uh, one lumber pack, one iron pack, one fabric pack, um, and some labor. So, I've got all the materials on me, 
I've got the lumber, fabric, and iron, um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it all. If you don't have the materials, I think you have two days to get the materials before your dock disappears. So don't waste your time. Make sure that you have the materials. So. All right, so here we are at the top. Uh, lumber is first. So let's go ahead and make a lumber pack. Um, now you can do this at any crafting station. You'll need uh, any sawmill station. So make sure you grab that. Make sure that you have a hundred lumber. Um, and if you're doing this alone, like me, make sure you do it in order. Um, if you try to put the iron on first, for example, you can't. Um, and you'll have to drop your pack. And someone might take it. Because, after all, this is our cage, and it's full of pirates and thieves! And if you're a pirate or a thief, uh, no offense to you. It's a completely legitimate way of life. So you'll notice these guys here, uh, from Impenetrable, have a merchant ship they're loading up, and I'm not quite sure where they're going with it. Um, that's a very interesting guild crest, I'll say that much. Um, but we are going to, um, it's creepy actually. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and build ours. So the merchant ship is nice, you can fit, um, I believe, something like 20 trade packs on there. Uh, with the clipper, there's no space to hold a trade pack, but someday, someday, Shinobi. Alright, let's put in our lumber. 25 labor and one lumber pack. That's one thing I like about building the ships, is the dock suddenly changes, as you can see. Where are you guys going? Nothing personal. Oh, so not impenetrable. Huh. Interesting guild crest, that's all I have to say. Let's go ahead and um, get back up there and get the next pack. second pack I believe is metal, uh, iron, you'll need to come to a smelter, go to metal work and choose iron pack and we'll craft one of these. Uh, yeah, so we noticed that other guild, nothing special, had a merchant ship. I can believe that my guild has two of those as well, um, or at least two people have them. Hello? I'm experiencing some lag. There we go. Yeah, Derp Vader. Let's go. So, um, as I was saying, I believe my guild has two merchant ships. I'd really like to get my hands on one of them, um, because I think that you can pretty much... I mean, you don't have to go overseas. Going overseas is dangerous, especially with a merchant ship. Uh, you'll want to be protected, but um, I think it's very easy to just run up and down the coast, especially here. I mean, you can just go, you know, from Solis to Yinsteer or whatever and um, deliver trade packs. Pretty safe run, and with a merchant ship full, that's a lot of money. So I think it'll be a lot faster than donkey trade runs, which I've been doing. So someday, someday, we'll get a merchant ship, and when that day comes, I'll be rich. Um, until then, we're going to have to make do with our harpoon clipper. Yes. 
There's a western one. Western galleon, you guys. Conquistador. They're friends of ours. Alright, let's get up on top here and apply the iron. Go. Now we need fabric. Okay, and fabric can be made, I believe, at the loom. Fabric, uh, yeah, fabric pack. I uh, will make one of those. Do y'all see that message? They're taking the store offline for Halloween. Yeah, the Halloween event started today, um, we're not talking about it in this video, but um, if you're interested, maybe I will release a video later this week. Uh, so if you'd like to see more about Halloween in Archage, let me know, and I'll try to get a video out for that soon. Our focus today is getting a boat, because it has been way too long without a ship. I've been using the good old rowboat. Uh, for forever. So I have heard rumors um, about a faster ship, a ship greater even than the Galleon, uh, the Black Pearl, and I'm not sure if you can actually acquire this ship in the game, but if you could, that'd be great. So if any of you people watching, any of you people, any of you out there in YouTube land uh, know how to get the um, the Black Pearl, you should leave me a comment or leave me a link um, or I'll do some research someday. Alright. <clears throat> so slow. Alright, let's get our fabric put on the ship. frame going so the only thing we need now our uh, packs are here is labor so uh, just three more so about 75 more labor make sure that you guys have the labor when you get started on this project um, because you don't want to have your dry dock sitting around uh, for too long Interesting guild. So I'm thinking about doing a guild, a uh, uh, sort of political update soon. Fill you guys in on the Curious server and the type of politics that uh, we've been running into. So ships and navy and warfare um, is sort of the meta game, I think. In the end, um, you know, allying yourself with a large guild, waging war on other guilds is a huge part of this game. Um, at the end, so you can choose to not partake in any of that if you'd like to be a peaceful farmer um, But in the end you're gonna need to make alliances and fight for what you believe in Last step Is that the last step? Yes mm, Yeah Harpoon clipper Away We've got ourselves a boat, you guys. Thank you for your hard work. 
What? What? Hello? Is this mine? So let's go ahead and desummon this because I've got a special treat for you all. Let's get back to shore. So, um, I went ahead and made uh, a crest ink for my ship. Uh, we have the crest stamp here. We're going to use it on my harpoon clipper. Just right click it, use it on your boat, and it applies it. And now we're going to find a good place to summon it and show off the new shinobi. You ready for this? Shinobi! Look at that! Look how cute that is! I love it! So a guildie of mine uh, does concept art for video games and she's been making all of the images for um, our guild guild crests and, and ships and things and forgive me if I can't steer this correctly. No, no, yeah that way. Yeah! It looks awesome! So her name would be Gummy, so if you see Gummy in game, you should say hello and say thank you Gummy for the awesome crest. It looks sweet. So if you see me swimming around in the ocean um, and you see this crest, you should definitely not attack me. I'm a peace-loving ninja and I carry no valuables. I lead a simple life. Killing people. So until next time then, thanks for watching, keep the wind in your sails, and enjoy your ocean exploration on your brand new clipper. Um, this has been Arcage Live with only one shinobi. Shinobi out.